casting a vote for former state lawmaker and congressional candidate Rashida Tlaib wasn't about making history for Detroit voter David White. It was about making a difference. Rashida represents everything that undermines those stereotypes. She doesn't just appeal to a Muslim community. I mean, she appeals to a wide swath of individuals, and it just so happens that she is a Muslim. That doesn't define you, and it shouldn't define you in the eyes of the nation. It also didn't define Somali refugee and Minnesota congressional candidate, Democrat Ilhan Omar, to a diverse coalition of voters that helped her defeat the Republican challenger in her Minneapolis district. Tonight, uh, throughout, not only in my race, but throughout the country, people are choosing hope over fear um, and, and uh, unity over division. While both women were elected in districts that heavily favored their political party, voters like Allison Brooks, who cast her ballot in the same Detroit polling location as Rashida Tlaib, says this historic moment was a long time coming. It's crazy that it's 2018 and, you know, this could be possibly the first time that this is happening. So, I mean, we need more Muslims in Congress and in the House and Senate. Being Arab and being Muslim is always going to be part of who I am. Uh, but just like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was all about justice. So, so much of my faith is very much embedded in that justice. Tlaib, who also becomes the first Palestinian American in Congress, promises her reputation as an outspoken critic of President Donald Trump and his administration's policies isn't going to change as she makes the transition from candidate to congresswoman. It's never going to happen. Yeah, it's just it's just not in me. I think people say to me all the time, we want a different and that's why we voted for you. Uh, we need somebody that's going to go in and fight. A fight voter David White is confident she will deliver. Standing up in the middle of a speech and, you know, shouting him down. We need some of that, right? Uh, we need some of that strong resistance, even though I don't necessarily identify, you know, with that style. Rashida! Rashida! A style that will be put to the test come January, when Tlaib and Omar enter Congress as freshman lawmakers in a chamber their party will control. Now I get to march into the United States Capitol. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Detroit, Michigan.